Yeah, yeah. Um, so the army is basically chilling out uh, in front of their own, in, in front of their respective bases. Got a pretty nice force for the Protoss player right here. Stalkers, Zealots, uh, an Immortal in there, and a ton of high Templars. So this will be able to rip through this army quite easily, actually, with some clutch storms. This is a battle between EMPs or storms. If he can land those EMPs in time on those high Templars, so, you know, the storms won't be able to hand do anything. No, not they're at gone. All. They're gone. And there has been a. Wow. Storm drop. <laughs> Storm drop. Or, or so actually, a proxy pylon. proxy pylon. There are a few scattered around the map right now, but he hasn't seen to catch any of them. The army yeah. is trying to return and try to catch. He does stim up for these few zealots. Wow. Wow. Stim a little bit wasted right there. Those zealots did die. This pylon is going to die, and that high templar survives with his life and trying to desperately gain some energy so we can do some kind of attack. The SCVs are on the attack, <laughs> taking revenge for the brethren that have fallen. The high templar does have one kill, so. You know, those SCVs are pissed right now. <laughs> that one kill is just devastating right and there. And there's a drop in the Protoss player's base Whoa. right now. The Marauders finally do drop from the top as the Stalkers move down. But there are cannons placed in defense for these inevitable drops that he's expected to come. Yeah, and actually the, there is no medbacks here to uh, to uh, get these uh, Marauders out of here. So basically right now it's these Marauders versus these cannons and these Zealots and this High Templar. And another push out from the Pro, uh, from the Terran player. Uh, Protoss player is moving out himself, so there is yeah, going to be an epic high clash here. A little bit out of position, but he does get some nice feedbacks on those medvacs. Keeping medvac energy low is very important in this matchup. Yeah. Allowing, he's taking away the healing potential of those medvacs is, is beautiful. Yeah, um, does, a, does a small storm on these marauders. Uh, and Ghost comes into the EMP right in the middle of the entire ball, but he doesn't really seem to want to push in until he EMPs those high templars. Yeah, those uh, High Templar wants their EMP to be basically become useless, and does he get it off? No. Yeah, he got one off. He got another one off. He got one off a little bit earlier, but those High Templars do have almost full HP, or three quarters of their HP. Uh, Terran uh, player trying to just kind of go around, and he does feed back a ghost and kills it. That was awesome. He exploded. <laughs> I will make your mind explode. Yeah, the modders are still, it looks like they've engaged something back in the main base as the Terran player is swooping around undetected by the Protoss player right now because his army is kind of out of position. He could try to snipe an expo, but I won't, wouldn't really think that's a good idea because he might find himself in a bad position to, with no retreat path. Uh, right now, the uh, Protoss player pulling, pulling his uh, units and trying to defend his uh, ex expo. Oh, feedback's Some... going down off the ghost, I think, and Storm's being laid down, just carpeting this marine marauder ball. Medvac's very low on HP. I don't think they can really, I mean, uh, MP really. They can't really... They can't really do much. The Medvac's not really healing it to their full potential. This army is going to be able to clean up, but at what cost? The uh, Protoss player did lose his uh, his expo. He's going to be able to put it back up. He's got 400 minerals, and there's tons of minerals left here, so he should put uh, a Nexus back up. Although, uh, the Terran player did scout this, and he might be pushing in to snipe it. No, moving back. Yeah, I don't think that was the most best of all exchanges. He did snipe one expo, but he lost his entire army when most of the Protoss army is still all intact right now. Yeah, yeah, all right. So uh, the observer is following this uh, ball around, just kind of keeping tabs on it. Uh, Protoss player is pushing out again with his uh, stalkers and his uh, sentries and his whole army, really. Yeah, it's always good to poke. When you destroy an entire army of your opponent, it's good to poke in to see what he's got. Another EMP is landed on the stalkers. Stalkers kind of out of position, not protected by the Colossus, and do get sniped down by a few marauders, and looks like he will pull away after... He's just taking a few stalker losses. Yeah, it took a quite a hefty loss on his unit count right there, and he's gonna move back and kind of rebuild his uh, rebuild his army and maybe try and push out again. Uh, there is a couple of high templars here that have been just chilling for quite a while with a ton of HP actually. Storms a single marine. Yeah, the, double storms him. Yeah, double storms. They <laughs> have authority. That was that was overkill if you ask me, but uh, these uh, templars just hiding here would be able to basically walk down here and storm uh, storm this expo's uh, SCVs if they do decide to. But, but there's a couple there's marauders a and a marine yeah, coming in. There are in. a few proxy pounds being laid around. There's a lot of weird yellow dots right there. P a probe still undetected right now. Just running around, putting out the proxy pylons. Pylons everywhere. There's like an observer here. Never mind, that's not a proxy pylon. Um, not much going off. Uh, uh, not much going around uh, on the map other than just some pylons dying and uh, some random high templars hanging out. Um, again. Terran player um, with his marine marauder build, ball with a couple ghosts in there pushing out again. No uh, medvac surprising me. I guess he just gave up on the idea. He's like, ah, he's just gonna feed back them anyway. But two medvacs do come in to join the army. Two medvacs, a giant ball of marauders and a few ghosts and marines mixed in there. Colossus do look like they're gonna engage. You need some force fields to delay that army because he's kind of out of position right now. Clutch uh, feedbacks yeah. on the uh, I don't on know the how ghost. he's catching. Those I know. Ghosts. That's, That's what I'm gonna say. It's just amazing, and he catches them and he kills them. So nice. Wow. EMPing the high templars as they're warping in. Doesn't let them finish warping in. He's EMPing the That was a nice EMP. Got most of those high templars. No, he actually didn't. Oh, that high templar was didn't even get to throw a storm down right now. 
Uh, these stem marines and marauders are going to come in here and do massive damage. Yeah, storm being laid down on the ball. No one's running out of the storm. Full 80 damage being absorbed by the marauders. The marauders are quite beefy and can take a few storms before they go down. But it does look like this attack has been defended. And it's a nice back and forth right now. And Zealot's still without their legs. They can't really charge in. The Zealot charge is on its way right now. And same with ship level 1. And two void raids in production right now. So it does look like he noticed that there aren't that many marines in the in the production tab. So or any vikings in the air for that matter actually. Well there are a few vikings in the air. Was there? I haven't seen any. Yeah, top, I'm top expansion on the planetary fortress. Okay. But they haven't done anything. They haven't even touched any of these colossi actually. Uh, an archon now morphed in and it's just going to chill more than anything right now. Um, these Marines and Marauders have been just chilling out, warping around, just looking for stuff. Yeah, uh, there's like a proxy pylon. Three Zealots, high, the Stalker coming in. No High Templar to storm that fourth base of his. Well, I don't think you can see outside of this well, he knows uh, not it's much. The he knows fourth, it's there, yeah. Fourth base. Fourth base. He knows it's there, that's about it. Uh, this expo hasn't been attacked or touched at all. Where are we going? Uh, no, okay, okay. I meant the fourth of the base. This one? That's the fourth. Okay, he could have done that, but there was this one. That's fine, whatever. It's been a while since I've casted, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, big ball coming here to defend against this. Uh, Planetary Fortress will be able to defend it quite easily, I would think. Yeah, Planetary Fortress are beastly. There goes the storm. Catching a few of the SCVs. Kills off of a four or five, I think, in there. Maybe three. Yeah, was it worth it? Maybe. Uh, especially this lane of the game. And just yeah, as this will be worth it. Here's a drop. <laughs> no cannons really in position. Wow, storm for some, from somewhere. I don't know where these high templars are coming from. They're just feedbacking and storming from everywhere. Zealots being warped in with their legs now, being able to push this army. But right, there's to fight so down the Nexus, many load of up them. and run like hell. There doesn't look like there's much anti-air in the in the zone right now. Feedback on one medvac, other medvacs, no energy to really feedback on, so they can't really die. And eight marauders, well, six marauders, leave with their lives. Four of them died. It was kind of sad. Uh, these marine marauders are gonna take out, take away this proxy pylon. Finally, there's so many proxy pylons all over the map. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, that pro's been sneaking around everywhere, just you know, hugging the walls, putting down those proxy pylons, and just warping in random zealots and uh, high temps and stalkers, just keeping the terran player on his toes. Yeah, terran yeah. players can drop constantly, but proto players can warp wherever they got a pylon. <laughs> yeah, they just gotta throw that pylon up down without them knowing. Uh, the forces for the terran player are growing quite substantially. There's a, a lot more marauders now, and the marauders do uh, do well against both the. Uh, Colossi yeah, and like the storm. Ace in the hold. The void rays are on their way right now. He didn't reveal this void ray tech until now. The void rays are up on their way to the fifth base. As the marauder ball is heading towards the gold expansion right now, void rays going to charge up off this command center and probably head over to the next base. Very few marines in that ball, so the void rays probably will stay uncontested for quite a while. He always snipe out a few of his expansions until a few Vikings are on its way. It didn't look like there are any Vikings in the production tab. But this Terran army is trying to make its way into the gold expansion, all stimming up, firing. No storms being laid down, might have gotten EMP'd. And I think, yeah, I think he EMP'd, yeah, EMP'd, uh, just EMP'ing all the High Templars, not allowing to do, uh, let them do any kind of damage. Void is going to town on all the command centers up here. Taking out uh, two expansions, Void is heading back to take care of this army. There is no anti-air in that army, there's a few marines, but not enough to take down the void rays and the void rays actually no they're not they're gonna just meet up with their army and just go for a base trade right here as the void rays are gonna take out there's an orbital command orbital command desperately has to lift off and run away or hide in the protection of that turret but one <laughs> turret versus eight charged up void rays is gonna really not gonna happen these void rays are gonna come in here and be able to take down uh, take out all this stuff quite easily actually uh the protoss army is gonna come in here and clean up it's, yeah. it's become a base race right now and Karen who's army gonna going end up in on the expo right now, there's nothing there. You might want to actually go for the mining expo, but there are a few cannons and a lot of piles being warped there. He's probably going to make his last stand at that expo on the fort. If he can keep it alive, the Terran player ha will have no mining base once he takes out this base and destroys that last command center. It looks yeah. like it's going to be a weird base race they went on. I don't think there's any command centers left for the Terran player except for this one right here. And once this one is out, it is going to be GG for the Terran player, depending on exactly how the uh, Protoss player does uh, micro his units. I think the Protoss player just, you know, mop up this base. Maybe run away if you really think there's too many marine numbers and just hide at that fifth expansion that he took and just, you know, bunker down, put some more down, some more cannons, and yeah, he does look like he's going to pull out this ar marine marauder army getting a little bit out of hand. He needs to run back. He knows that he's the only one with a mining base and just hopefully warp in a few more gateways if he's got any left and just, you know, stick with his one mining base. Yeah, I know. If he sticks right here and then naturally expands down here, he will be able to just basically restart his economy and uh, be able to take him out, take right, out the, the Terran player. Terran army that you pretty monstrous right now. A lot of marauders at home is looking at the army tab. Yeah, there's not that much of a supply count difference, but it could be mostly just probes and looking at the army value itself. The value count is quite higher, but he does have those high Templars and those can be all the difference he really needs. Maybe yeah. a few sentries to get a few force fields off if he can warp them in in time. It does look like there's a small group of probes being cut off. 
the probes being defended against but with one single storm and a hero high temple right there. He's like, no, those probes are my buddies. <laughs> they gotta survive, they gotta survive. And Void Ray is going back, trying to do some more base damage, trying to slow down the production, but there is that command center that he left behind being transferred over to that one at base, and there are a few SCVs right start mining. Oh god, there's a full a full on assault from the Terran player right now versus not much back here. One Colossus, a couple of High Templar. Yeah, warp and Gate's coming in right now. They, I don't know if he has a Cybernetics Core up in time. Can he warp in anything besides Zealous right now? We gotta just wait and see. It looks like he will it. push in right now and it might be out of time. He needs to storm that ramp and make sure nothing gets up. One storm being one laid down right now. No units being warped in right now. A lot of Vikings in the air. Only three Void Rays all gonna be shot down by those Vikings. Void Rays trying to run away into the defense of their cannon. Does look like he will lose this game. There are way too many Marines and Marauders. Tons of medevacs healing up and keeping everything alive and yeah. uh, charging up on his own gateway. Yeah, this is basically a slaughter fest right here. Terran players got this right here. And uh, this is the last base for the Protoss player. And uh, actually, he's killed a lot of anti-air. If you get rid of the last few Marines, it could be an interesting exchange right here. <laughs> What's going on? I don't Zealous know. Zealous being warped in. He needs to kill off these Marauders before they destroy all his buildings. And I don't know if he's got any buildings hidden around the map at all. He will be revealed to him in a few seconds. Another base coming up for Hasu. Wow, the Voider is powered no up. No way. Kill off the Vikings running into the main base. Wow, this that's just ridiculous. I would not have called that. The Protoss player just clutch with these Vikings. I mean, the Void Ray Vikings, god damn it. Uh, clutch with these Void Rays. Take out that army. Take out all the Marines. Nothing can shoot at the yeah, Void Rays uh, anymore and Mar that's it. Oh, he does GG out. Realize that he can't just produce enough Marines to take this out. So this was a best of three, I think. And we do have another game coming up between Hasu versus Cloud. And this was an epic one. That was pretty interesting. Um, I feel like I was uh, casting this as uh, Bob, that painter guy. A little bit a little bit calm and relaxed, you know, not getting too excited. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting game. We'll move on to the next game very, very soon.